activism is often synonymous with protest. Now the climate movement is showing that their call to action is both peaceful and incredibly diverse. Millions of people around the world gather in the largest climate action march in history. The diversity of the movement was on full display in 2014 when the People's Climate March in New York drew nearly half a million peaceful marchers. And in all, nearly a million took part in other marches around the world. A year later, in the wake of terrorist attacks in Paris, a massive march was canceled for security reasons. Instead of marchers, thousands of shoes with personal messages dotted the ground of the Republic. This shows that climate is a subject which is very important for people, for everyone. Still, the passion in Paris couldn't be contained. A human chain sprung up around the city. The links included everything from artistic creations to newly formed moms groups. Climate change is already here, already impacting communities, but it's projected to get worse and worse. And that's a, a terrifying feeling that you have to do something about. Around the world, nearly a million people on the streets of cities far and wide marched for those who couldn't in Paris. Around the city, a group of climate-motivated poets became a common scene, including on metro trains. God is punishing us. How else can you explain storm surge waves taller than coconut trees? Adding to these words was a diverse chorus of voices. At a church in Paris, 1.8 million signatures from people of all faiths were presented to the UN's Christiana Figueres. Today we're coming together to deliver the petition signatures of four main campaigns, uh, faith-based campaigns. In another part of town, doctors and health professionals kicked off a climate and health summit. Health is really a downstream effect of everything that's happening in our society, in our environment, which, are, which will be aggravated by you know, intensifying climate change. And the next day, peace was the theme once again, as a human peace sign demanding 100% renewable energy formed at the base of the Eiffel Tower. I believe at this point in time, a sort of uh, strength of beauty is what's required because we need more people involved and beauty is, is, is a great communicator, it's the great attractor. Days later, as the negotiations got into their critical period, the COP venue itself became the forum for more voices. Business leaders explained why they're going all in on climate. It future-proofs IKEA, uh, but also the, the, y you feel good about it as well. Then the world's mayors explained that their citizens are the reason they are leading on climate action. Uh, you cannot escape your constituents. You run into them uh, at the grocery store when you drop your kids off at school. You live in the community where you govern. And as the week progressed, a giant mechanical polar bear made its way to the COP venue. And inside, voices demanding climate justice began to fill the halls. So while COP21 will be documented in some areas as a place where policy is being written, it's also an example of overwhelmingly peaceful voices singing and chanting to make themselves heard. In Paris, I'm Saroja Coelho for Green TV.